next season. Well, we're talking about the change at the club. They have to get a manager in, whether they, keep, they stick with Dean, I don't know, but they have to get a manager in to, to sort the club out. You hope there's finances there. They're obviously going to lose a lot of players. A lot of players are out of contract. They're going to lose them, obviously. Uh, players who are assets, they're not going to sell them, get some money in. I think they did have the talented squad, but they did lack. They went through a period where it did, it did look like they lacked a kind of team spirit and a bit of fight. They lost their way through the season and they couldn't quite recover. Obviously, changing a the manager, then they maybe took too long to get a manager in. They had a couple of important home games, they had a caretaker manager in, and it just, it just seemed to get no momentum into the season from a very bad start. So there's no surprise to see where I am. Johnny's a good guy, I've worked with him, and it's tough. And sometimes it's difficult to do interviews after the games, but Leicester can bounce back. But it, it, of course, we keep saying clubs can be yo yo clubs and bounce back. It's not easy. Mm. It's not easy, but it's, it is, I think Alan Smith mentioned there. I think it is a rebuilding job at Leicester. You mentioned leaders, didn't you, Roy? But Kasper Schmeichel. Getting rid of Kasper Schmeichel, the captain of the club, know exactly how it's run to bring it in. Danny Ward and he had some very good games but over the course of the season the goalkeeping was a problem position because then a change him to Iverson and if you've not got your back four and your keeper set what chance are you going to be relying on you know the, the players ahead of you like Madison, Black, Barnes, Vardy, whoever that may be in an actual to do something special they had a lot of injuries at the set. back. They did have injuries at the back. Big yeah, injuries. Yeah, of, of course, players, but of course, leader, yeah. leader. The we talk was about leaders. Big issue. Casper was the biggest leader in that dressing room. Yeah. Well, they started the season as well with Fafana, who was sold, and and Soyuncu, who was frozen out and, and brought back late late on by Dean Smith. It's, it's the biggest surprise. We've talked about Everton, Jamie, as, as being sort of flirting with this situation for a few years, but but Leicester City had had looked a comfortable top half side for five consecutive seasons in the top half. Well, the last couple of seasons under Brendan Rodgers, they finished eighth, and there was almost a feeling of disappointment around Leicester as if, you know, we're better than this, we should be challenging the top teams, which they had done a couple of years before. Finishing fifth a couple of times, just missing out on the Champions League. So to go from eighth to where they find themselves now relegated, there's just a massive fall. We're talking about Everton, who they were rivaling, but Everton were in this position last season and almost went into this season expecting this. But when you talk about the start of the season, they had one point from the first seven games. I mean, always put them in a really, really difficult position. And I think from some supporters, they felt maybe Brendan Rodgers should have gone early, they should have made that change. But the fact that when they made the change, they didn't have anyone to step in. Now, it must have been in the back of their minds that they thought there was going to be some change at some stage in the season if results didn't pick up. So you think people at the top of the club would have had something lined up in terms of bringing a manager in. So I agree with Roy, there was two or three games where it just felt it just drifted and they just writ off those games. Uh, and again, it just, you know, you find the position that they find themselves. Dean Smith comes in, couldn't quite do the job. But in terms of what Leicester have achieved though, over the last five or six years, I think you'd have asked a Leicester fan. You know, when they came up and just saved themselves, I think, in that first season under Nigel Pearson, then win the title, FA Cup, Charity Shield, two fifth place finishes, I think, quarter finals of European competitions, uh, and now they're relegated, yes, but it's been an unbelievable journey that I'm certainly can look back on fondly, but it's a big job to get them back.